Welcome to segment number three of the V2 build series. In this segment, we'll be assembling the four fin assemblies that will be later attached to the airframe component of the model. We're going to begin by taking a look at the fin parts. There are three points where they were attached to the sprues. And what we want to do first is polish those points. Just get rid of any excess material that might be on there. But when you're doing so, be careful that you don't damage any of the detail that's been molded into the surface of the part. Okay, the next thing we need to do, there's a small nub of plastic right here on the forward inside root of each fin part that shouldn't be there. We're going to nip that off. And then we're going to sand that just a little bit. Next, on the back side of each fin, are four ejector pin components. These are there to prevent the part from falling out of the molding machine and possibly getting damaged. They're not something we need or want to have in place when we build our kit. So we're going to use the nippers to twist these off and get rid of them. Okay, those are gone. Next, we're going to take a coarse sanding stick and sand away any excess material from the four points where we took those off of the back side of the parts. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is dry fit the two fin halves together to check the fit. Note that there are some locator pins on the parts that will engage with each other to ensure alignment. That fit looks good. There's nothing impeding the two sections coming together. So we're going to take that apart. Okay, next we're going to use this Plastruck plastic weld cement to cement these two fin halves together. I'm going to have a number of clamps on hand to hold the two halves of the fin assembly together until the adhesive dries. Let's get started. Note that there's a brush on the inside of the cap. I'm going to spread this generously on the inside surface of one of the fins. I'm going to take care to get all the way out to that edge. We'll fit the two fin halves together taking care to make sure that the alignment pins are in alignment with each other. Then I'm going to start putting clamps on it. Note that I'm putting the clamps first at any corner of the part. I'm also using a generous number of these clamps. Okay, that's done. We'll let that sit for about 30 minutes. I'm also going to repeat this for the other three fin components in the kit. 
We now have each of the four fin assemblies completed, and we're going to take the clamps off of the final assembly. Having more clamps on hand will enable you to move through this step more quickly. They're very inexpensive, again, only about 37 cents a piece at Home Depot. Now, if you look at each fin, you'll see there's a little bit of roughness right here at the base of the root edge. This is what's called flash. Uh, flash is stray plastic material that gets between the different uh, components of the mold and creates uh, excess bits that really aren't part of what was intended to be molded originally. Fortunately, in this case, it's easy to get rid of. We just take a sanding stick and lightly sand the flash off of the root. It'll just take a few minutes for each fin. Follow the curvature that's already there to the degree possible. There, I've already got one fin ready to go. And with that, we're ready to move on to the next step.